Hello, New Hope. It's uh, Pastor Weaver, and it's good to be in church back again for some of you that can make it. And for those of you who can't, you still, we know that you're there. We're trying to pray for you. It's hard to stay as in contact with everyone when people aren't all there. Uh, so anytime you need something, please pick up the phone and call. We care about you. We've been praying. Uh, it's actually weirdly enough, uh, it's odd enough that that uh, all this whole COVID has made it way busier for us. Um, and it's a very difficult time to, in many ways, uh, for, for the church. One of them is a disconnection because some can't be here. We miss you. Uh, we are praying for you. We, we hope that you're able to watch online and, and be steady to do that because, honestly, you know, that's that's one piece of lifeline. And we're live recording now and uh, sending those out. And uh, I, I was just thinking about, uh, you know, how great a church you are. I just want to say, you know, we're we're actually at this point, the last report I got from finances, we're ahead of last year in uh, most every category of giving. We've been able to bless the missionaries. We've been able to really help a lot of people. So thank you for being kind and giving toward benevolence and being faithful in your tithes and offerings and to support our missionaries. Several of them were needing extra, extra help because of some of their support wasn't able to help them. And so we've been able to step up and do that. And uh, so also right in the middle of this COVID, we're helping uh, launch a church in the Cedar Falls, Waterloo area, Pastor Dan Quimby, and we were able to give them the startup money for that. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you that we are a missions church and that you, the church is people, and that's you. So continue to be mindful. We're looking forward. It's a wide open market uh, of people that need Jesus. And uh, I know Daniel has a call and it's God's going to help him reach a lot of people. They already have a core before their first service of about 60 people. So uh, be praying for them and that, that, that launch of that church. Also, I wanted to tell you how important announcements are. Uh, you know, the Friday news that comes emailed to you is a spiritual thing. I mean, communication is spiritual. Is, is prayer communication? Yes, we talk to God, we listen. And so it's a, it's a, it's a spiritual thing to, to uh, receive information. Uh, it helps us do spiritual things. It might be a, a natural thing, communication, but has spiritual implications. And uh, we, we communicate, babies are born. We communicate people that have passed away, people that need prayer, events that are coming up, things that you might need to know. So be sure you open those, read them, uh, stay tuned, stay connected. Listen online if you're not able to be here. We miss you, but we urge you to, to listen online, to do your best, to really worship, and not just have it in the background like the news when you're eating lunch, but to tune in and worship the Lord. Um, if there's anything we can do, please call us. Uh, it's hard as a pastor at this time to have the time. Actually, our workload has gone up quite a bit from what it has in the been in the past, basically because we're, we are uh, just trying. There's so many issues, so many things going on. It's kind of it's kind of odd, and the and the extra work to even communicate everything we're doing is is, uh, is you know we it's 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 not easy. I wanted to talk to you though about communication, and um, and I, the scripture that came to my mind is um, in First Corinthians chapter twelve, where he tells us about the body being one and has many members, and members of the body, though there are many, are uh, are one body. So is Christ, and uh, by by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, where the Jews are Greeks, slaves are free, uh, and we were all made to drink of the same. Uh, spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot says, because I'm not the hand, I'm not part of the body, it is not for this reason any less a part of the body. And if the ear says, because I'm not an eye, I'm not part of the body, it is not for this reason any less a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? If the whole body were hearing, where would the sense of smell be? But now God has placed the members, each one of them, in the body just as he desired. If they were all one member, where would the body be? 
but we, but now there are many members, but one body, and the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, or again, the head to the feet, I have no need of you. On the contrary, it is much truer that the members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary, and those members of the body which deem less honorable. On those, on these, we bestow more abundant honor, and our, and our less presentable members become much more presentable whereas our more presentable members have no need of it. But God has so composed the body, giving more abundant honor to that member which lacked, so that there may be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. And if members suffer, all the members suffer with it. And if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. So now you are Christ's bodies, individual members of it. Now do you, you want, well, here's what I'm going to point out to you with that. You matter. You're a part, and we need to cry with each other and rejoice with each other. We need to be connected to each other. So these announcements that go out help you. So you can send a note when someone has a lost loved one, when you can send a note of congratulations. You can pray for people that are there. You can get on the phone, call, uh, the call, the, get on the phone, call, and, and just check with them uh, what's going on and how are you doing. You know, I saw your name in the in the Friday email, are you, are you sick? What's, you know, and connect with people, stay connected. We need each other. And that's for us to take care of. Now, some of you are still able to come to church. You're, you're coming and we're glad that you can, but even that's a little different because of the spacing where we're doing three services. So you may not see people, even though they may be coming to a different service that you used to see. And so, um, it's, it is a, it is a um, trying time, uh, but I'm believing God and I'm believing God to help us get through this. But I need you to stay connected and be the body and minister to each other. When you feel safe coming back, please do. Uh, we're doing everything we can to m mitigate any kind of risk as far as spread of the, the COVID to the spacing and, and uh, sanitization, et cetera. And uh, we're, we're trusting that you will be careful to, to give everyone respect uh, with whatever uh, their choices are um, in, in respecting people's space and respecting each other, uh, those that do wear masks, those that don't, and not to make them feel, you know, like they're doing something wrong uh, either way. And uh, we hope that uh, you will let us know again if there's anything we can do. And I want to encourage you to read the Friday news because I believe it has spiritual implications. It helps us stay connected as a body. We need to be the body of Christ, not just have a devotion. And you can see the importance that every one of us uh, are important here when you read the scripture. You may have that thought about yourself, which probably isn't accurate. It's like I'm the toe of the, of the assembly. Well, what would you do without your toes? You'd be off balance, wouldn't you? You're pretty important. All of us are important, important and I want to encourage you with that. I love you guys so much, Jesus. Please bless and help every person that is listening to my voice today. and Let them know your love and grace, and we thank you for it, God. Amen. Well, it's kind of a bad report, bad recording here, but that's what you get. I'll talk to you later.